Hey, Nikki. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> Took a little bit of a break, and now we're back. Uh-huh. Um, do you still want to be... You, I think you should still be the main person. You know? Yeah. <sighs> it's an ordinary school day, like any other. Yeah. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Okay. This is different. Yeah. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Yeah, you don't watch any anime. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. <laughs> Sorry, my jaw super popped in the middle oh, of that. Oh, okay. that was your jaw? Yeah. Dang. You alright? Yeah, it, I'm fine. Because I heard, I thought you like did a wrist like snap. Yeah, nope. It just caught me off guard. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Nikki? No! Hey. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Oh, Brandon, stop blinking at me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? I've been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that... I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I'm sorry, my nose is like... I'm like <laughs> Do you need a tissue? No, it's okay. I don't believe in them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, in that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Don't look at me. <laughs> Literature oh, club. No. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Nikki? By chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah... Uh... I mean, I, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse, except for she's a robot! <laughs> Everybody's a video <clears throat> game, Nikki. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, oh, awesome. You're really sweet, Nikki. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica in her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! <laughs> and I brought a guest with me. 
No. Uh. A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't blame me, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Nikki. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, uh, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. No, Sayori was the vice president. Who? Ah, stop it, Brandon! <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears <clears throat> comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's Nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Nikki in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Nikki? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we could all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea enjoy help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. <clears throat> I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Nikki, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? <laughs> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. <laughs> I'm sorry, just... We're acting like everything out, but nobody can see I it. I know, it's rude. Yeah. <laughs> but it just helps us get into character. It helps. I gotta <laughs> twirl my, my teacup. <laughs> my favorites are usually novels that build deep in a complex fantasy world. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It isn't amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. <laughs> uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately gra grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. Did we say at the beginning that you don't like scary things? Did we say that? I don't know if we said that. I don't think we did. Nikki doesn't like <laughs> scary, don't things. Like scary things. I like scary things. I don't like to be scared. No, I got you. I understand. Anyway, so I'm like, this is this is uncomfortable for me. I'm enjoying this, but I feel bad because like, thank you for for doing yes. this with me. Um. But I just know I do understand it's it's a it's an ask. I'm asking a favor of you to play this <laughs> game. And that's not lost on me. So anyway. I'm I'm trying to give it a chance. You are, this you're killing it. Thing. Yeah, as we're like five hours into recording, I you're know. absolutely giving it a chance. Yeah, it's a lot of dedication. Well, I like a level of scary like I like scary books. Mm-hmm. But I think it's because I'm so in control of books. Right. Whereas, like, movies or games, you're like, I'm control. not. in control. No, I'm not, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you're literally controlling it. I mean, yeah. And also, we can't control what happens on the screen ever. Well, so, it's true. Yeah. We're in control. Whereas it's fine. with a book, I can That's fair. make it exactly how much I can handle. I got you. I get that. Anyway. Anyways, at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> 